Every time I use ChatGPT, I feel a little bit dumber. I think it's not my imagination because there have been several studies now that document just how AI assistance negatively affects our cognitive function. But it's okay, I guess, because soon enough we'll be too dumb to notice. In a truly eye-opening study that just appeared, researchers from MIT Media Lab recruited 54 university students and had them write essays, either entirely on their own or with internet search or using GPT-40. While while the students were working, the researchers recorded their brain activity with EEG and later the students had to answer a bunch of questions too. The findings were remarkable. A whopping 83% of participants in the AI-assisted group could not accurately quote any text they'd just written. In the other groups, it was merely 11%. Also, the measures of brain activity were roughly half as strong in the group of GPT users than in that with the unaided writers with the search group in the middle. The writing performance too was noticeably different. Essays written with the help of GPT had a lot of word clusters that repeated and markedly less variety in phrasing and sentence structure. But the maybe most damning finding was that after three sessions of this, the researchers switched the AI-assisted group to no assistance and their performance remained bad, even though they now had to write on their own. 78% still weren't able to quote anything they'd written and their brain activity still lacked the synchronization normally associated with this task. The researchers call this cognitive debt. Basically, they'd become used to not using their brain. This comes after a study from Microsoft last year that showed that users who rely on AI use significant less critical thinking. Yes, AI use has been linked to some positive effects, but even those turned out to be a double-sided sort. For example, last year, researchers from the University of Houston in Texas found that using large language models for brainstorming gift ideas does significantly increase the creativity rating of these ideas, according to humans. However, a follow-up study that just appeared points out that using AI also significantly reduces the variety of ideas, which makes you suspect that in the long run, they'll also be considered as less creative. AI-assisted ideas seem creative now because they're unusual for humans, but in the long run, it'll just be the same thing over and over again. A similar finding was already reported last year when researchers had about 400 people write short stories with and without the help of AI. The AI-aided writing was rated more creative, but the stories were also more similar to each other. Nevertheless, students for sure like using it, and educators on the front line report worrying developments. Students increasingly seem unable to read and comprehend long text as they're used to feeding it into AI and just getting a summary. A typical report comes from Andrew Tobolowski, a professor in the United States who told the Chronicle of Higher Education, when I have students respond to passages of various kinds in the classroom that I didn't assign at home, many struggle or seem to struggle to arrive at any real takeaways, even so far as what literally happens over the course of the text. A writing teacher quit because she found herself grading AI generated papers more often than not. Students often by their own admission dump the prompt into chat GPT and hand in whatever it spits out. And because that's too obvious now, they instruct the AI to sound dumb or at typos by hand. What are we to make of this? The demise of human intelligence with the rise of new technologies has been declared many times with TV, with video games, with the internet, and so far we've survived. That means we should take these worries with some grains of salt, but it doesn't mean this time won't be different. AI, like none of the other tools before, saves us thinking time and we all like being lazy. This makes me think that we might have to become more deliberate about brain training. Much like today we go to the gym or at least sign up for it, I suspect that in the near future we'll see dedicated services that aid thinking performance, or at least we'll sign up to them and they'll 
probably be run by AI. I read a lot of news to keep you well informed and I found that the best way to do this is on Ground News who've been sponsoring this video. Ground News is a news platform that collects and summarizes news which has been published all over the world. Not only do they collect all articles on the same story in one place and give you a quick summary, they also give you a lot of extra information that you don't find in the standard media. An interesting recent an example is this story about the new COVID variant from the UK. You can see right away that this news basically hasn't been covered by the political right. You also get a factuality rating for each news item, which in this case is mostly high, and it tells you whom the media outlets are owned by and where the news has appeared. Ground News also has this great feature called Blind Spot. This tells you which news has been almost exclusively covered by only one side side of the political spectrum. And of course I have a special offer for you that's a 40% discount on the Vantage plan which gives you access to all their features. All you need to do is use my link ground.news Sabina or use the QR code so that they'll know I sent you. I really think that Ground News is onto something with their news overview so go and have a look. Thanks for watching, see you tomorrow.